The other day while grinding, the disc exploded. It's actually the very first time that happened to me, but it made me think like how dangerous it is. Cause I know like in, in comments, everyone gets super mad. I don't do it, but if people see YouTubers using the grinder without uh, the security um, cover, they get really mad and I can see why. But I wanna know exactly what happens. If like, what did I risk the other day when, when this exploded? Cause I didn't even notice. I have a slow-mo camera, so I want to try to replicate that and see exactly what happens. Why, you ask? Oh, you didn't? Well, I'm going to show you anyway. This is the camera that we mount on the forklift so we can set the height and have it like exactly on top of it. Then we're gonna have to figure out how to kind of safely make it break and explode and, and hopefully we get it with the slow motion. This is our human analog, which is... <laughs> it sounds like a human as well. We use hot glue to, you know, well, I don't have to explain this. The thing is that all these lights, it's so warm that I don't even think the glue sets up because it's, <laughs> it's too warm. So here's the plan. This is gonna spin and then Gabriello there is gonna risk his life by being under there, under the table, to try to break this. Then when that breaks, hopefully I'm fast enough to uh, push the trigger. So this is gonna start. So here's the plan, and this is our human analog. That's our human dummy. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know what just happened, but I think it broke, but I don't think in many ways we're trying to find it. That's not what I wanted. So this one was pretty easy, just broke in the center. Now we will try with this metal, which is thicker. We tried to cut a little bit and then we're gonna twist it and see if it, if it does something. Because the human analog, it's still alive. We don't like that. Okay, second try. Okay, this one actually exploded. I didn't see the slow-mo yet, but it looks like it went here, but the human analog, it's safe. Let's see the slow-mo. Okay, now we're trying a different disc that it's a lot thicker. Uh, let's see if we can break it first of all and then what's the result.
Okay, next try, we're gonna try again the thinner disc, but we're gonna go like straight in and try to make it break faster. Let's go. I'm kind of disappointed because all the cups are in one piece and I was hoping to have like some destruction there, but I think I know why. This test taught me two things. One, don't ever even think about using the angle grinder without this, the safety thing. And second is that it's actually pretty difficult to have like a fatal disaster, but not impossible. Just like, if you don't remember what you ate for lunch, just Google uh, angle grinder accident and you'll see it again. What we're gonna try now, super stupid idea, I know, but we do it in safety. Uh, we remove this and we try to see what happens because this not only avoids things to go against you, but it also helps like tangle stuff up and have this like kind of crumble together and because you know all these fibers makes it more difficult to have pieces flying against you. So what we did now is remove the safety thing and also distress the disc a lot so it might have, we'll see. So again, this is no guard and also like with the make and knife we went ahead and oops. Okay, nothing happened to the human analog. Also, I think that I have to say it. I know that that's not a human analog. It's, uh, it's a joke. So, delete your comment. Okay, still nothing really major, but at least we have a little sign here, a little mark. Nothing too bad. All the other are safe. So they're either really lucky or it's not enough to do much. For now. This one is like a thicker one and we also like cut some grooves. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got something, nice. Imagine if this was your face. So one, two, three, four got out of the way and they were like here, 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 here and here. I mean just here, here, here and here. Or maybe two there and two here. Yeah, I think, well, we'll see it in the slow-mo. We can't find the pieces. I kind of feel like we're never gonna find them. Cool, there's one. Huh. Imagine that in your eyes. Okay, we actually found that it impacted here, like, Kind of a nice force there and it's perfectly in line if you see 
it's like probably one inch from from this kind of thing uh, which is kind of expensive so I was very oh another one there okay that's far eagle eye it was just like there I don't know if it it might be this but it might not I don't know not sure Okay, we can find the third piece. Um, it's really scary stuff. It's also not really easy, like we had to damage the disc a lot, like cut pieces in it. But you know, shit can happen. Like you have just one disc that it's like not made well. You don't want to take the chance. Uh, the last test that we want to do is if we don't lock it well. We just want to see what happens. So let's do it. I mean, it's obviously like kind of self-locking because the way it turns, it basically, it is stuck in there. And that's a feature that of course they thought about it. But still, you want to lock it well. Look, I'm not even going to explain you why the angle grinder is so dangerous. Uh, for me, it all boils down to at least two things. Always use discs that are really high quality and for the RPM that you have in your machine. Also, don't use old ones and don't leave them out in the weather, whatever. And also, never remove the safety guard. Like, th th this is just gonna help you, even with sparks and everything. Like, this is really nice to have, in case you care about your uh, face. So, I'll leave you down in the description uh, a video of people that know a lot more about what you should do, because it, this is not my job. And I will see you tomorrow, and I thank you for watching. Ciao, ciao. I have a new obsession. For me, the secret to learn to do new things is like... These videos can have three outcomes. The first one is that nothing that I'm excited about works. The second one is that it's gonna work and I'm gonna be super excited and I wanna learn all the other stuff. The third one is that I'm gonna die.